Hey guys, welcome to another video on audio streaming and uh, your uh, AzuraCast fans. Uh, we're going to do a, a quick little video on a new feature on the more current versions of AzuraCast. We are, let me scroll down for you, we are working on the latest version, version 14.1 of AzuraCast. And uh, we're going to do a, an intro file for your Azure CAS station. And uh, I'm going to walk you through it real quick and, uh, and how to do it. And uh, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. And uh, what I'm going to do for you guys, and uh, this should be pretty simple and uh, it should be a pretty quick, pretty quick video. So uh, what I'm doing is I've got a basic simple test station set up here on AzuraCast. And what I'm going to do is I'm using uh, uh, Audacity to record a quick little intro for our test station. And all I'm going to do is uh, click record and say welcome to our ION test station. And that's it. Just a quick little, what's this, five, five six seconds. In fact, I will even clip out some of that. And uh, with this, we're going to do export as an MP3. And I will show you why here in a second, but you want to hit here constant and choose 128 kilobits per second. And we are going to name this intro one. And we're going to save it. And we can even put here We'll put, uh, we'll call it ION intro, so it looks nice and pretty for us, okay? Save it, and we're done. We can get rid of that. All right, so we we made our file, we saved it. The reason why the 128 is important is you're broadcasting your stream. Your intro file has to always match the same kilobits per second that you're streaming at. So if your station is broadcasting at a higher bit rate, then you want to make sure that when you record your intro file, you save it at the same bit rate so they match or they will conflict and it won't. One will play and the other one won't and your station will stop midstream. So you don't want that to happen, so make sure that they match. And uh, when you're at your profile page, you're going to see it right there. But what you want to do is you want to come on over here to mount points on your left hand side right here just click it you'll see your main mount point is here you choose edit and across the top here on this is a new feature on 14.1 uh, if you're running an older version of azure cast i recommend you uh, run a your update and update to the most current version and these new features will populate. So go ahead and click on intro. And all you need to do is hit select file. And you'll see we made our intro one here. And open her up. And that's all you need to do. Save your changes. Now, it's uploaded and done. However, for it to take effect, you want to come down here to utilities. And you want to restart your broadcaster. Anytime you make uh, changes like that, it's always a good idea to restart your station. And this way it starts everything anew. So you want to come back over here to your profile. You'll see your stream was offline here for a second. It'll take a moment or two for it to populate. And your stream will start playing. But it's generally that simple. You've introduced now a... Uh, intro into the stream and uh, you come over here to your public page and a little refresh and uh, you'll see that uh, now the music is now you're now no longer offline your music is now playing And there you have it.
So each time you press play or somebody presses play, presses play, you'll get a your intro will play. And then the music will resume playing. Just that simple. As I said, it is a new feature in the more later versions of AzureCast. I know that they do their updates now once a month or so, and uh, they, they do bug updates and uh, add new features all the time. So if you are running AzureCast, do uh, stay on top of those updates and uh, uh, keep the most current version because uh, they are always adding new features. But uh, this is one of the good ones that uh, people have been asking for a lot. And uh, if you're not currently using it, um, it's a, a handy feature. And uh, I know a lot of people have been asking for it, but that's a very easy and simple way to do it. I don't know why they hit it down here in your uh, mount points, but that's where it's at. It's here on the left-hand side. Hit mount points and hit edit. And right here under intro. That's where you put it. It's just that simple. So. Uh, and again, if you want to ever get rid of it, all you need to do, again, the intro, just hit clear file and restart your station and it gets rid of it. So hope that helped you out. And uh, quick, simple, easy uh, video today, guys. But uh, like and subscribe if you would. And I'll, uh, uh, if you have any suggestions on future videos or you need help with uh, hooking up your stream, Centovacast or Azurecast, I do both and uh, happy to help you guys out. So uh, leave those comments below. And now let me know how I can help you uh, get your streams rocking and rolling and uh, looking sharp. So uh, take care and uh, hook you up later.